Hello everybody, Bernadette here, Simply Be Art Cape Town. Thank you for being here with me again. I'm working on a very, very big canvas. Um, it's a 3 foot by 2 foot or a 90 by 60 centimeter canvas. And I'm going to be doing a split color Dutch pour. My colors for the Dutch pour is going to be a beautiful aqua. It's an aqua blue. Let me show you. I've mixed the paint up last night already. So 24 hours ago. And um, that's the consistency. It's so gorgeous. So it's an aqua blue. And I'm going to be splitting the color with a titanium white. So let me get the base color laid down. And then I'm going to um share the colors the the dutch ball colors with you my ratio for the um for the dutch ball consistency is one part paint two parts pouring medium and two um thirds or three quarters of a part of the um of water so if i used 40 grams of paint i would add 80 grams of pouring medium Mix that nicely together and then finish it off with 30 grams of water. So you can just take those ratios and you can double or triple or quadruple those ratios to mix up bigger batches if you like. But that's the consistency. There's no trace and the paint just flows nicely off the stick right back into the container. So on the bottom half, I'm going to have the aqua blue and the top half, I'm going to have the white. So let's first do the blue. I'm going to put you on speed as I do this. I don't think you want to spend all your time watching me layer a base color. So now that the base coat is laid down, I'm going to just torch it to get some air bubbles off and also the torching smooths the paint nicely. So just a quick going over with a torch. It's always nice to do that before you lay down your colors. There's lots of air bubbles. I've just mixed up the white paint. So even though I've mixed up the aqua, um, a few hours ago, 24 hours ago, I've just done the white paint now. So the white paint has got quite a few air bubbles in it and you want to smooth the paint out before you blow it out. So I have a cerulean blue, I'm going to put that down and I'm going to line my paints up right where the two colors meet on that middle line. That's the cerulean blue. I'm going to add a viridian, it's a paint that I've mixed up myself. I've taken a viridian green and I've added it to some white and I've got a nice pale pale uh, aqua green there. I'm going to add a hint of copper this time. Just a hint of copper. There we go. I'm also going to add a metallic turquoise. This time I'm adding Viridian, just shaking it up a bit because it's been standing. And next I'm going to do a dark teal. And I'm going to end off with some pearl white. That's it. 
I'm going to torch my colors again before I blow them out. I'm just torching the colors. Just the colors. Let me get my blow dryer while I do that I'm going to bring you closer to the painting so that you actually get to see how I blow it out so allow me just to lower my camera I'm going to lower you now just bringing the camera down closer to the canvas all right now you're closer to the canvas and you can actually view the blow out so when I blow out my canvas, I keep my blow dryer upside down like this. I don't blow down like this. I blow at an angle upside down. So you've got to keep your blow dryer at a slight angle. And as you push your paint, you move your blow dryer to create your petal. So that's what I'm going to be doing. Let's blow this one out. beautiful i'm just going to work with it a little bit i want to spread the petals a little bit more so i'm going to be blowing it out with a piece of tubing that i always keep um, available so this is my aquarium tubing i use that to blow out the petals further Loving this, absolutely loving it. All right, so that's what you do with your tubing. I'm going to continue with this and then I'll bring you down for a closer look. So this is your close-up view. Mm. 
So when you use your blow dryer to blow out your Dutch pour, it's important to only blow out once with the blow dryer. Don't go over your painting more than once. Once you've done the first round with your blow dryer, then you can use a straw or a piece of aquarium tubing or even just your mouth to continue to blow out your colors and to get the, um, the composition that you are looking for in your painting. Please don't ever go over your Dutch ball with your blow dryer because you will muddy your paints and you will spoil your entire design. So I hope that you enjoyed this painting. This is a very, very big painting for me. I haven't done one like this in quite a while. So thank you for being here and thank you for watching. Take care everyone. Stay well. Bye for now.